Aphasia. What's going on, Sequoia Nation? This is Dr. Schilling bringing it is wellness wisdom. So if you don't know what aphasia is, it's one of two things. Either you have trouble expressing it or trouble interpreting speech. So there's Wernicke's and there's Broca's, two areas of the brain that process uh, the information as far as output or input. So when you think about aphasia, it's like the, the voice box. It's like if you feel like um, you can't speak your truth, if you feel like you um, are limited from speaking your truth and saying what you feel and things like that, that's what's the real crux of the matter. Um, so I think of Broca's is like the speech area output and Wernicke's is the, the processing, if you will. For those of you out there who know someone or, or may struggle with it yourself, this is inspired by one of our participants, a uh, lovely woman we're working with. And uh, so every time something new or something that we haven't seen in a while comes into the stratosphere, we, we bring it to your attention so you can grow with them. Okay? And so when a person feels like they have something they want to say, but if if um, if they do say it, everything's going to explode, like like everything's going to break down, the stress, whatever it is, relationship will break down. Then that's when they silence themselves, and so that's where they they choose to to not speak, if you will. Um, if a person has the inability to process or express, it can be that their thoughts are mixed up, so they can get the the information jumbled, and they then have a challenge either expressing it or interpreting it. Then um, if someone might feel uh, they might be abandoned if they speak their truth, then they might silence themselves. So they might um, silence their communication in order to avoid that abandonment, which is kind of akin to the, the things exploding, things breaking down. Um, someone might have a desire to speak, but they fail to speak even though they want to, and that's because they feel like there's um, some force that's limiting them. Like they might have been shunned as a child. They might have told, you know, be seen but not heard or not be seen or heard at all. And as a result, then they, they are taught to not... Uh, speak their truth and things of that nature. Um, they might have a, a fear of speaking up. That may come from some type of indoctrination or some treatment from the people in their lives uh, where they're told they don't have a voice or they're told to, you know, shut up, if you will, things of that nature. Um, but, you know, it just all really relates to feeling like unable to express oneself, unable to speak the truth, unable to say what's on your mind, and then that turns into either paralysis of the vocal cords or a process, uh, a paralysis of the processing of the information in the brain and things of that nature. Um, it could be that there's a terrifying situation that they feel afraid of. They feel like um, I got to stay silent because there's something terrifying happening. They live in a dangerous home, uh, abusive relationships, things like that. Um, so it can also come from uh, self-doubt. So if there's intense self-doubt, intense self-devaluation, they might say I don't have the right or I don't have the mental capacity to speak my truth and things like that. So. If you or someone you know, if, if you or someone you know is dealing with aphasia, which is you know either the processing information or the inability to express information, then please share this with them if you find it beneficial, so that they are aware of how the brain and body connection works, so that if they don't have a traumatic injury to the vocal cords or some trauma to the neck, then there's some brain body disconnect uh, happening there. So appreciate it. Um, Place your comments below if you have questions or curiosities and things like that. See if we can expand upon them. Otherwise, uh, we'll look forward to. Uh, preparing our next, we're going to go with laryngitis next, which is sort of similar. Okay, so good luck. Appreciate you. Love you. See you next.